Uh, so, Noam, now there's a question about your view on artificial intelligence and the, the, the threat or hope that it presents. Well, when anyone asks that question, the first thing that comes to mind is a famous comment that was made by a great biologist at MIT, Jerry Letvin, in a debate uh, about artificial intelligence back around 1960. And at the end of the debate, he conceded that artificial intelligence was pretty interesting, but he said it was misnamed. It should have been called natural stupidity. But uh, <laughs> it's a bit unfair, but not totally. There's a lot of hype about artificial intelligence. And there are some achievements, uh, like, say, a Google Translator achievement. Robotics can make some achievements, but it's doing very little in, uh, from a scientific point of view. It's achieving things from a kind of an engineering point of view, which is okay. Uh, nobody should be opposed to bigger bulldozers if they work, uh, but we shouldn't be misled about the uh, insight that it's supposed to be providing into the nature of intelligence. Uh, it's not doing that. It's often some other direction. So it's a valuable pursuit, which can be useful. Uh, if it does, insofar as it is part of science, which it is partially, it's just ordinary cognitive science, an effort to try to find the nature of intelligent behavior uh, using uh, computer-based models as a technique of research. That's fine. Actually, it's pretty close to the kind of work I've done all my life myself. Uh, but the uh, the uh, you should be pretty cautious about evaluating the PR that's associated with it, which often, pretty often, is quite remote from the actual level of insight obtained by these measures. Now, there are also threats of artificial intelligence, serious ones. Uh, that's particularly true in the weapon system. If the weapon system becomes automated, we're in deep trouble. Uh, automated systems uh, fail all the time. Uh, any of you who have computers are familiar with this. Uh, they cannot be made reliable. And if they're, uh, unless there are very narrow controls, tight controls, they can blow up. Actually, I gave a couple of cases when I was uh, talking, past cases. Of, we know f the U.S. record is fairly open. The Russian record is probably much worse. We don't know. But in the, U in the case of the United States, there have been literally hundreds of cases when there were uh, the, auto the, uh, 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 the automated detection systems that detect an alleged missile attack just gave the wrong answer, uh, misfired. And often we were within minutes of responding a uh, human intervention. Uh, interceded. And that's going to be true pretty generally. That's a serious problem. So uh, using uh, AI in the weapon system is something extremely dangerous, as is the weapon system itself. In other areas, um, the techniques can often be useful. Uh, the fear, the idea that, say, robotics are going to displace working people and you know, well, people will be out of jobs with all these smart machines around. Uh, there's just no evidence for that at all. I mean, if you look around the country, there's a huge amount of work to be done. Uh, take a walk in any city, you know, they're all falling apart. Plenty of things to be done. Uh, education, way underfunded. Uh, uh, research, uh, do vastly more. There's vast needs all over the place. There are plenty of idle hands. There are resources to use those idle hands to do the necessary work, but the system is so corrupt that it can't put them together. That's the problem, not the fear that uh, robots are going to displace us. In fact, to the extent that uh, dull, boring work can be taken over by automata, that's liberating. It frees people to do more interesting things, including having leisure. Uh, the United States has much less leisure than comparable countries. And uh, nothing wrong with using leisure to enrich your own lives in whatever way you choose. 
and there's certainly nothing wrong with freeing people to do more creative, independent work and let the robots do the boring and dangerous stuff.